Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie and I'm a graphic designer. Here on my channel I use Illustrator to create illustrations, 3D simulations, and branding. Let's get started. Let's create a heart shape. Select the ellipse tool, click on the board, drag while holding shift to create a circle, then select the circle, drag it while holding alt to make a copy and shift to keep the copy aligned. Now we have two circles which are gonna be the top part of our heart. For the bottom part, I'm going to use the polygon tool, click on the board to open the panel. I'm going to change sides to three so it's a triangle. I'm going to turn it while holding a shift. And then I'm going to position it into place. While the train while the triangle shape is selected, actually I'm going to select the top two anchor points with the direct selection tool, and then I'm going to use the scale tool to largen just those two points. Then I'm going to manually scale it just so I get it right where I want it. Okay, so it's um, exactly where the circles, where it continues precisely from the circles. Uh, now we have these three shapes and then we have this little hole in the middle, which is no problem. I could just merge the shapes and then delete it. But um, in this video, I'm just going to add a fourth shape to cover that hole in the center. So I'm just going to choose a random shape. Okay, like a square. And now all parts are covered. See, the shape is covering that little space that wasn't covered by the other three shapes. This isn't necessary, but uh, I'm just going to work it like this. So now I'm going to select all four shapes, go to the Pathfinder panel, and click on Merge. And here is our heart. Now I'm going to change the heart color. So I'm going to go to the uh, color palette, double click on Stroke to open the color picker. I'm going to choose a red color for the stroke. I'm going to change the stroke width to 10 points. Uh, the fill is still set on white because I haven't touched that yet. Then I'm going to go to the stroke panel and change this to rounded corners. <clears throat> so now the heart doesn't have pointy uh, corners, it has rounded ones. While the heart is selected, I'm going to put, click Control c to copy, Control f to paste to front, then I'm going to scale it down like I did. And I'm going to select the second heart, change the fill to red, change the stroke to none. And then my first heart, I'm going to leave the stroke red and change the fill to none. And I'm going to select the second heart again, the smaller one. And always Control c Control f to copy, paste to front. I created a third heart. This third one, I'm going to... Um, change the width of the stroke. Anyways, from here you can work it however you like. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.